I really love Waimea. My son is Waimea right here. And I just always kind of had like a calling for big waves. I started surfing probably double overhead waves when I was 11. My first probably like six footer, which was like a 10 foot face was at Turtle Bay. And I never will forget it because I was on a doyle and there was like 30 people on the cliff at Turtle Bay watching and my dad yelled, don't go. And I airdropped and made it. And that was just kind of the beginning. And I just felt like it was my way of expressing my faith for God just because God makes the ocean, so if you really believe, you shouldn't be afraid. I just, I really love Waimea. One of my goals for Waimea is to go left on the outside bowl. I'm always in that position, and I always hold myself back because of whatever reasons, but that, that's one of my lifetime goals because I've caught probably up to 25 foot Hawaiian waves but I haven't caught a 30 footer yet and that's definitely my goal and for normal uh, like tow and surfing I'd like to get maybe maybe a, a wave with a face of 160 feet that's always been my lifetime goal I made that when I was 17 but we'll see you know that takes a, a miracle more than anything and to be in the right spot at the right time. I just feel like, I just feel really thankful and I also don't, I don't waste my time. Like I have, I have the baby all day and so when I get a chance to surf, which is usually up to three times a day lately, thank God, but it's just like that's my moment and it, now there's up to sometimes 50 guys out there and before it was just a group of like 30 guys who all knew each other, dedicate big wave riders. Now it's a new, there's pro guys out there on small boards, have no idea what they're doing and you just have to take off deep if you're going to get a wave. And I just, I feel like I'm taking my surfing to the next level, but really it's just a gift. Like, it's my mind relaxing and me being more aware of the ocean. But really you never know because the ocean's always the major power and you're just lucky to make it, you know? The minute you think you got it made and you could airdrop a white man behind the bowl, then a 50 foot set comes and you're dusted. So it's always up to the ocean. I just feel really, really happy. <laughs> This is my son Waimea. I just want to be a good influence for him and for all the children and let people know that there is no limits, you know, with faith. <laughs>